And if we rake this, make the sample size instead of being 30, let's make it be 100. Okay, now it's really fitting quite well. Yep. And if we make the sample size be 200, it's really, it's really quite good. Okay. So what happens in general is if you are looking at the sample sum or the sample mean of draws with replacement from a box of number tickets, the normal curve is an increasingly good approximation to the probability distribution of that sample sum or sample mean as the sample size grows. Okay. It's not the number of tickets in the box that matters, it's the number of tickets you pull out of the box that matters. It's the sa sample sum or sample mean of a large sample with replacement. Now, how good the approximation is depends on the numbers that are in the box. So in this particular case, the numbers in the box have a nice uniform distribution, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The approximation wouldn't be as good if the distribution were really skewed, right? If, if I'm starting with, if I'm trying to approximate something with a normal curve, the normal curve is symmetric, right? It's not going to approximate something that's skewed very well, yes? If the distribution of the numbers in the box is really, really skewed, then the distribution of the sample sum or sample mean will be skewed. Not as much, but still skewed. All right, so if I take these numbers and I replace them with um, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1. Okay, so I've got, now I've got a 0, 1 box with mostly zeros in it. So what does the population histogram look like for this? Big bump at 0. Little, little bump at one. Yeah, it's right skewed. Okay, most of, the, most of the numbers are zero and one number is one. So now if I look at the normal approximation, this is still a big enough sample that this isn't so bad. Let me uh, take this back down to 30, Let's see if you can remember. Okay, so here, the normal curve is kind of wanting there to be some probability out here to the left of zero, but there can't be, right? Because if you add positive numbers, you can never get a negative number, right? Okay, so, um, the, but as the number of draws increases, by the time we get to 300 draws, the normal approximation, again, is really not that bad, okay? So, for any fixed distribution of numbers in the box, the normal approximation to the sum or the mean is going to get better and better and better as the number of draws gets bigger. But you can't compare across boxes. Uh, the normal approximation to the distribution of the sample sum of 50 draws from, a, from box A might be better or worse than the normal approximation to the sample sum or sample mean of 1,000 draws from box B. It depends on what numbers are in each of those two boxes. If the numbers in box B are highly, highly skewed, if there's a very, very skewed distribution, it could be worse. If the numbers in box A um, uh, were, followed a nice bell curve in the first place, then the distribution of the sample sum of numbers that follow the bell curve is going to follow the bell curve even better. 